hello I have another migraine from hell starting but it's been a good day I went for a car ride with my kids dad I usually go for a ride and he started that kind of like a tradition when the kids were real small and all of us still enjoy the car rides and we go in the country we go to a different city and drive around where we've never been and it's hard to find areas where we've never been because we have rode around so often but we walked around a little bit too we went to a gun show and then we went to sam's club and right in the middle of walking through sam's club my hip started hurting i had pain from my hip down to the back of my knee and then shortly after that i started feel, feeling so tired i felt like and still do feel like i hadn't slept in days i am pure exhausted purely exhausted whatever i also don't feel too good i had what my ex calls a roller dog which are the hot dogs that roll on those warmers and uh, like come and go and such. If some of you don't know what come and go is, it's like a 7-Eleven. I don't think they have them everywhere, but I'm not sure on that. But as I was eating it, he tells me he got one not too long ago and he got food poisoning off of it. And I'm like, great. And now I don't feel well. I don't think it's food poisoning. I think it's something else. I think my body is just so exhausted. When you have a injury of any sort in your body, your body works hard to try to repair it. And if it can't repair it, it's constantly working to try to repair it. And I think, well, I'm sure that's why what is going on about my hips, my body is still trying to repair it. Some injuries or other issues in your body just sometimes aren't repairable. And that's why you have to have surgery. But yeah, I don't feel too great. And I'm sure, get my fingers crossed, tomorrow I feel better. I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. I got a monster today because I woke up with a headache and I got a monster and it kind of subsided a little bit. It's usually a couple of hours after I have that monster. If it's a migraine, it comes back and it's coming back with a force. So I've got two more monsters in my fridge just to be prepared and I hope it goes away. Um, I didn't do a video yesterday, yesterday or the day before because I had nothing to talk about <laughs> again. Um, I will say that I do think that I'm sleeping harder because my doctor did raise my preventative for my migraines. And that preventative is a, um, makes you drowsy. And when I take it with my sleeping pills, I'm double drowsy. And now that she raised it, I'm sure I'm sleeping harder and longer, I suppose. And a part of me feels that I'm sleeping through the visits that I get. I don't think that they're waking me up. Well, the norm would be a very light vibrational feeling through my body and I would wake up. But with them just being in the room, there was nothing to wake me up except their presence. And I think that's what I'm sleeping through is when they're there and I don't feel them. But I will say last night and the night before, I did feel them, but I was so tired, I did not look for them. I just rolled over and just I had that feeling like I always do, um, but I just did not look. And I know I've been going places at night, don't know where, and that's okay. You become accustomed to that. You don't want to like say to yourself, where'd I go? I wanna know. You know, and it, you beat yourself up over it, but over time, you're just like, okay, yeah, I went somewhere. It's okay. <laughs> it's, it becomes like an everyday occurrence, so it's not that big of a deal. Of course it is, but we all go somewhere while we're, our earth bodies are sleeping and resting. So our soul does leave, and we go do multiple things. I feel like I am on my other mission that's not here on earth. And that is, I know, going to war as in fighting the bad guys. And I don't mean fighting like, uh, you know, kind of stuff. I'll just give you an example of one 
it, it wasn't a dream because I know I went, it, but it was that my, the beginning part, and I did a video of this, of um, the very first things I remember is I was swaying back and forth and this guy was talking to me. He was not human, but he looked human. And there was a light behind me like a sun. And I was swaying and the light would come from behind me into his eyes. And that's how I realized he had brown eyes with white specks in them. And then I would sway and the, the light would be gone from his eyes. And then it was a constant. And he was talking to me. I don't know what he was saying, but I feel an intuition, I should say, because that's how you feel things. Told me he was prepping me for what was fixing to happen. When he was done, I said, you have beautiful eyes, and I glided down the hall. I knew I was going toward where the bad guys were. I knew that the bad guys were taking this girl that was a good person, a good soul, and I had to go in there and do my job. And when I entered the room, the two bad guys, one on each side of her, was dragging her out of the room. I was screaming. And it was like I transformed from my soul, the way I looked, into like this Medusa hair flowing kind of, I don't know. And I was screaming in a way that was disturbing them. Like bad and I remember I had my hands out like I was guiding that vibration from me screaming and they let her go and was covering their ears and while I was doing that I was aware that there were other beings on the sides of me and they weren't doing anything it was like they were waiting to go get the girl but they weren't doing what I was doing and what I was doing was powerful enough to do the job and it didn't bother her. My scream, or whatever you want to call that, did not bother her. But it bothered the bad guys. And I'm pretty sure with my hands, I was guiding those vibrations to the bad guys only. It was like a directional kind of thing. But I remember my face wasn't pretty anymore. <laughs> and my hair was like flowing. It was like all of these vibrations were coming from me out and blowing my hair everywhere slowly and then you know and it's funny because although it was me i also was on the outside of me looking at me and this was all my soul because my earth body was sleeping but i was fully aware and it was like I could see what I looked like. It was so not me. It was like transformed into this, I don't know. But it's, it's not like what I look like, my soul, every day. My soul just changed with that vibration. I was screaming out, but I was... I don't know if I was screaming or not. I want to say I was. Um, and I remember my mouth was just like so wide open. I don't know. I can't describe it. I can describe it, but some of it is difficult because I'm not familiar earthwise of what was going on. I can feel it and I can kind of see it, but it's hard for me to even describe everything. And I'm sure you get that because I just don't know what to say at this point. I'm doing this video, um, I, well, I, my uh, two daughters didn't visit because I needed a day to myself, so that was that was good. You always need a, a day to yourself and not feel guilty about it. Sometimes you just want to lay around and do nothing. You just want me time, and that's healthy. Don't ever apologize for that, just saying. So I'm going to end this here. I just wanted to say, hey, because I haven't done a video for two days, I'm going to put this out. Then I'm going to go to bed because I just don't feel well. I love you guys. And I want to say I am so thankful and grateful that you guys wait for me to do videos and you come back and watch all the time. And I know that there's not a lot of you that watch my videos, but those of you who do, I'm eternally grateful for and I want you to know that and that's very important to me you guys mean the world to me and that's why I try harder and harder all the time although sometimes I don't succeed 
to put another video out there because I know that you guys are waiting because before I didn't do a video for a while and I remember I don't remember who it came from but it was a while and I realized I had a message on my channels I go check and this girl said waiting for the next video or can't wait for the next video or something like that and that really hit me as in oh my gosh my viewers my subscribers actually care and they're waiting for me and that meant the world to me so when i don't put one out it kind of it does stress me but i also want you to be entertained by me but i'm all about truth and no lies i don't lie um i want to entertain you also although that's hard for me because i'm not used to that but i do try and when I don't put a video out, it stresses me so bad. I'm like, I got to do one. So I hope you guys that some of these are short. And I apologize that they're not as entertaining as others that are out there. I hope you enjoy them, I should say. Let me know how you feel about my videos in the comments. And I know sometimes when I even say that, you guys don't comment. And that's perfectly okay also. I'm just grateful that you watch. So I'm going to end this here. I love you guys tremendously and I hope you have a good day or night wherever you are. And I'm gonna send you love, light, and peace. Bye. Mm -hmm.